the Venomites don't chair attack me, and I'm getting penalized for that. That's wrong, Miss Betty. That's wrong. It's wrong for y'all doing that to me. Why are you crying? Let's go to the gallery. Yo, bitches wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Just wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Just wanna play games with me, but I'm here to straight out tell you no. Rick and Mama see that, yeah, I run this shit, you know it's bloody beast and ain't got shit on me. Let you know it's bad. What is going on, entertain? So today I'm coming to y'all with another video. So in this video, you guys, we're talking about Winter for BGC 16, alleging some things about uh, Lemmy Pepper and how he allegedly tried to get with her while trying to get her on baddies to get an appearance fee sort of with Natalie and her own show, okay? So she talked on this podcast called Back With Fig. This is the same podcast that, hi, my name is T, appears on. And she details about how she feels like she was going to be coerced into allegedly getting into the bedroom with Mr. Lemmy Pepper just to secure her own solo show, okay? Now, this is why I respect Winner, because she was 100% honest with this podcast. That's why I'm going to always respect Winner, because one thing about it, she ain't going to really sugarcoat a whole lot. So if she really let us know, had it been written down on paper, she would have did it, okay? Take a listen. Oh, you was on that, that same show, right? I absolutely was not on baddies. Yeah. She was on Bad Girls Club. I okay. was on Bad Girls Club. Okay. I was, I was, was on that, that very yeah, I was on original Bad Girls Club. I was on, Bad Girls Club. <laughs> I, was on I mean, Baddies have tried to have me come on there a million times. I, I specifically refused to come on to Baddies because it's too ghetto, too raggedy. Lemmy done tried to offer me, you know, little deals and whatnot in the <laughs> me at the same time. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that an accusation? What's no, wrong? that's the truth. What? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Black yeah, because I said on record, on record of my life. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like, I don't lie. So the owner is just strong. Yes. Mm. Yeah, he was. I know y'all. Y'all say Mr. Lemmy Pepper. Y'all, y'all call him the black skinny guy, but I feel like he got a tool down there that's making these girls go crazy. I'm just saying. No wonder. Let me, let me shut up. I mean, but no, I mean, you know exactly what happened. Let me just mean, say that for our So podcast. he wanted me to come on back. It's <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm not mad at you. Anyway. Equals black. No, 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 no. That's not okay. But I'll tell you exactly what it was. So he basically wanted me to come on. I had for one episode. He's gonna pay me twenty bands to be on one episode. I said, mm, okay. Also, in exchange for that, I would like my own show, and I want it in a contract. I wanted it in writing. So I will agree to that twenty bands in that one episode to sit down with Natalie Nunn and go have a because everybody wants me to sit down with Natalie Nunn because we done she done. Be years oh really yeah so i was like okay so he was basically like okay um i'll give you your own show but you know what you doing after this i'm gonna go book a room and then was like trying to like low-key like you know insinuate i'm trying to, yeah. to get this show All right so that kind of was what it was and it's like honestly i probably you would have put it in writing whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is why i respect winner okay the fact that she was able to tell us on camera that she would Bust those big Debbie cakes down for Mr. Lemmy Pepper, okay? And let 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 him fill those cakes up for her own show. I respect it, okay? Because a lot of these girls on here, they get on these internet, they get on these screens, and they cap, okay? I'm just saying. Shout out to you, winner. <laughs> oh, I so, love it too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So break it down. Bitch, I'm gonna be so for real. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I get, I get, I get, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I was gonna get the 20 racks for nothing. I was saying I want my show. Right. Okay. I want my own show and I need that in writing before I even move forward with the episode that I Okay, that's know. that was worth some pussy. Yeah, that's worth a little bit of uh, her own show. <laughs> I'll put it on you. God, okay. no, okay. I didn't ever get a bitch pussy before. So you can give me the pussy for the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave the pussy for the pussy. For the show. I would have gave him a little coochie for, for, for my own show plus the episode. You know, that was going to equal out to what'd you go? What'd you go? Just give it to him or he'll no. ask? 
Ask. I'm saying like, what you mean? So he, when he gets to the room, sign, he was signed off and everything. So he signed off. I'm sure you get to the room, he just asked no, on naked. He was adamant about it. I wasn't gonna have to. I wasn't gonna have to. He would have been asking anyways. Stunner girl just came out with the fact that he was. And I don't think. Oh, it like, was the real thing is that men. And then I'm that's the problem. You bitches pussy is too low. You bitches pussy is too low on that good one. That's crazy. Y'all use your power too. No, men in a position of power, they they thrive. Okay, so you guys hear that. Um, also, speaking of Stunner Girl, she was one of the latest people that really came out and talked about this. Uh, y'all know I always believe Stunner, okay? I just didn't like how she went about it because I didn't think it was the smartest way to go about it, especially with her not, you know, her falling out with Zeus had nothing to do with anything, in my opinion, of dealing with Lemmy Pepper in the bedroom. It had more so to do with business. So, in fact, she just used that, in my opinion, to sort of make him look bad because she didn't get what she wanted financially. That's just what I saw from it. So I didn't agree with that portion. But I never thought the girl was lying. I always thought she was telling the truth. So last thing that uh, Ms. Uh, Stunner Girl said about Mr. Lemmy Perry said, the CEO of Zeus is a weirdo nigga who Fs all his cast members except me. I'm not going for that. He over there giving bees the clap. Okay? Clap on. Clap off. The clap. And disrespecting them. He mad he can't disrespect me and treat me any way how he does them because he know what's up with my husband. He know what's going on. I had 250K followers, not 100. My page was deleted for a year. That's the only reason my followers was at that number. Every show we went on to the crowd only knew my music and one other person. Ben had viral records and big features before going on there. But my personality drama is what put me on. You do so mad, I I left. Get over it, okay? And some people in the comments, even on this page, shout out to the uncut on Instagram, sort of confirmed this. You see Anthony Uncensored says she's the only one bold enough to speak. They all feel like this, though, shaking my head. And then, well, Vicky, okay, said, God bless him, though, and everybody on the show. Jesus love y'all. Y'all need Jesus. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ. No cap. Facts. <laughs> Okay, so y'all know well Vicky had to put the spiritual touch on that comment. Okay, I don't think this is any of lies in my opinion. Um, I do think that he needs to move a little bit more careful because there's going to be a lot more stories like this that come out. And why are you not having these people sign a whole lot of more NDAs and contracts to not have them speak out like this? Okay, so with this being put out, we'll probably never see Winter on a baddies type of platform which is a little disappointing because in my, you know, uh, BGC mine, in my BGC fever dream, I've always wanted Winter and Natalie to be in the same room, especially after that whole uh, lobby incident that happened uh, years ago, okay? The last lobby incident we're going to have is of Natalie and Latifa, okay? So I'm kind of sad that we're not going to get that, but it is what it is. Shame on you, Mr. Lady Pepper, allegedly, okay? Um, also, if Winter were, if you were to get your own show, I'm just confused what Winter's show would be about. Would it be like a sort of like a Drea type of vibe? Because I just want to know why you think that like a whole bunch of people tune in. I will say though, Winter would be a good candidate for her own show because the girl is funny. I just hope that if she would have got her own show, she wouldn't have went for the drama type of aspect, and she would have went for a more comedic type of as aspect, because the bitch is a key. The bitch is really, really funny. That's what a lot of people do not know about Winter, okay? So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Do you guys think that Winter is making up falsities, or do you guys think that she is telling 100% truth? Um, what I will say as a frame of reference, there is a video I remember that was put out years ago of Winter and uh, Lemmy Pepper sitting down together. It was caught in a clip and they were basically hanging out, sitting down, um, having like a sort of like a lunch. And I'm guessing that was the situation that um, she was referring to where I guess uh, allegedly Mr. Lemmy Pepper was basically like, oh, okay, you, you want to, you know, you want to show, well, you know, I just booked a, a room on the, on the, on the um, on the Trump Towers right here. You you want to go to Trump Hotel really quick, huh? The the Hilton, huh? I, I got a room. It's cozy. You got a little bedroom. What do you think? 
You, you, you don't want anything? Come on. Like, come on. I, I got a car waiting outside. I got a black truck right outside the door. I, I'll walk you to the door. What do you think? All right. So I guess that's what she's sort of referring to. All right. Let me know what you guys think down below about this whole spectacle. And we're out, babies. Ain't no personal thing. All that thing.